Let me be the at least one of the first to say and to come in here to chime in on this. Um, uh, you know, I stand to say, here we go again. You know, any time that our government puts out anything and they say the perpetrators will pay and stuff, it's kind of hard for us as Americans. You know, this is getting old. It's kind of hard for us as Americans to um, to believe anything they say. I mean, I just feel so sorry for the innocent people who are losing their lives. Because I promise you, the way that our country does, they use things like this, a crisis. They use things like this to further their agenda and capitalize on things that has nothing to do with this attack whatsoever at all whether it be foreign or domestic. At this time, we don't know. We really truly don't know. I'm not about to believe anything that the news media said, and I definitely ain't about to believe anything that the, that the federal government says or any of them say, uh, as far as that go. We've been there. We've done that. 9-11, we've been there, done that. Osama bin Laden, been there, done that. What has Saddam Hussein got to do with 9-11? Been there, done that. What has what, what Afghanistan got to do with it? Been there, done that. I mean, it's just old. It's getting real old fast. And New York. How many times I told you people to get out of New York? Let me go ahead and tell you what's going to take place in the future. It's not hard to figure out. I've said it many, many times before in the past. These Roman Colosseums, these modern day Roman Colosseums called football stadiums, they're packed full of people. It ain't hard to figure out. That if a terrorist is going to attack anybody, they're going to attack there. Um, I've said that years and years ago. They even got movies out on it now. And usually the way the powers that be work is they put stuff out in movies and let you know exactly what they're going to do for us before they're going to do it. But it's old. It is, it's old and it's tired. And people are tired. You people, get out of the cities. Get out of the cities. My deepest condolences for those who have lost their lives and the family members that are suffering, um, especially those in 9-11 who would never probably have the opportunity to know the truth because everything has been buried. We're dealing with gangsters, professional liars and gangsters. And if it's on mainstream news media, you already know it's a conspiracy theory. Just go ahead and throw it out. As things develop, we'll see what's going on. By the way, we got a good buying opportunity. Silver and gold. I'm hoping that gold pulls all the way back to $800. And silver all the way back to $10 and $15. That is my hope. Maybe we'll get it. Oh, boy, I tell you what. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Y'all have a good night.